today, I would like to introduce you to Firetail's approach to large-scale data visuals. Modern tags like those from eOps, TechnoSmart and others allow for high-density observations of animals in the wild. GPS positions can be recorded on the 1 Hz level, that is, one GPS measurement is recorded each second. A seminal study that did break most boundaries existing in 2015 in terms of data abundance is strandberg Preshkin's study on the collective movement in wild baboons. It was and often is nearly impossible to interactively explore the complete dataset as a whole. Including acceleration data, the MoveBank download comprises 5.7 GB of raw CSV data. Modern datasets can easily beat this by covering a longer time period and capturing additional sensor data. The dataset consists of 26 tagged animals covering 14 days. Let's try to open it in Fitel directly. Let's see if it is possible to sensibly work with this data. Replaying the data mm, is not real time, at least when all individuals are selected. Let's select two individuals. That makes a big difference, yet it would be great to monitor all text at once. We therefore use a Firetail feature called Cloud Scenes. Cloud Scenes are Firetail's strategy for drill downs and extremely large data that cannot fit your machine's memory. For this tutorial, I prepared a local server with the Strand Preshkin data. In practice, Firetail customers retrieve credentials to access their data from the Firetail cloud. We are told that reference data could be found, so let's hide this for now. Press the Reference Data tab. Once downloaded, the data is buffered locally, so in this case no download is required. But now for the actual GPS data. The most striking difference here. The scene is available immediately. No loading, no delay, yet the core amount of data did not change. Notably, Firetel's clown scenes are built to work with huge datasets interactively. Another difference, the overview looks a bit different from the regular Firetel viewport. In particular, we see all data as a point cloud of GPS positions immediately. By pressing F1, the points disappear. Hit F1 again to show them. Now, how to drill down and analyze such a huge dataset? To select a region of interest, press Shift and drag a selection. This will select a time window that encompasses all selected points. We can now replay what happened in this interval. By default, we only see moving points for each individual. A bit boring, yeah. I would, uh, would be nice to see Firetail trails, though. To enable trails, I choose a Firetail length of 3 hours. Additionally, I enable a time interval bracket of 1 hour. This allows me to use the plus-minus controls to jump forward and backward in the dataset. Pressing F2 will toggle the heat map overlay. This is a great way to see hints on future destinations like resting grounds. By iteratively selecting smaller intervals, we can distinguish very detailed movement patterns and individuals' interactions. The bookmark feature can then be used to save the current timestamp along with the selected interval. Pressing the bookmark icon will open the bookmarks dialog. Pressing a second time will add a bookmark. I can enter a few notes along with the bookmark, allowing for simple free text annotations as well. Now, let's watch an interesting region I selected previously, where we can see these animals returning to their home range. Pressing F1 repeatedly will give you the idea that this is indeed a preferred site during the time of observation. The baboons have now reached their preferred resting places. But what about subgroups? Remember, when we first opened the dataset, Firetel told us that reference data could be found. We will use this data to gain more insights into the group dynamics. Let's open the reference data dialog and select the animal life stage. Adults are marked in red, juveniles in green and sub-adults in blue. One particular baboon seems to reach home before the others do. I will stop the replay to look at this animal in more detail. I will choose animal mass as a sorting criterion. This particular baboon is a male and turns out to be the heaviest in the pack with 28 kilos roundabout, so quite a bit for these primates. This is individual number 3. Let's extend our view to see if this baboon would be ahead of the group in other situations as well. 
choose the first timestamp and set it to two hours earlier by clicking on it and modifying the timestamp. Here they come and yes, definitely, this animal seems to be among somehow leading the group on this day. Well, that's it for this tutorial. To sum it up, I showed you how to work with large-scale data interactively in Firetail, how to drill down specific regions, how to bookmark and annotate intervals, and how to recover behavior from available metadata. Quite a bit to digest. If you are working with large-scale data, contact us to discuss how to enable cloud scenes in your context and how to benefit from the interactive exploration that is possible with Firetail. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to the Firetel channel. Stay curious and thanks for watching.